Hey guys, it's Kristen. Kristen after dark. Kayla is asleep. Um, so I figured I would try doing a bloom on a bigger piece. So I've done four by four inch tiles. I've done six inch tiles and hexagons, um, all mouth blown. So this time I'm going to use a hair dryer. I have this one. It's a Remington. It has three speeds and three heat settings. So I'll have it on cool and I'll try um, the low setting first. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm using pretty much all TLPs today and then some carbon black that I plan to put down. I may even layer it in between some of the piggies and um, uh, I have a couple of cell activators here too, but I'll go through the colors with you. So I have this beautiful color that I have yet to use, which is Athena. It's gorgeous. Um, my pouring medium for my piggies is Bear 8300, the deep base, mixed with Valspar Ultra in base C and the Joe Sonia gloss varnish. I do two parts Bear, one part Valspar, one part Joe Sonia. So that's Athena. I have Comet, which is one of the interference piggies. I have Meteorite, which is this gorgeous silver, like a darker silver color. That's beautiful. I have Syrah, which is this gorgeous, like muted, kind of purpley. It's hard to describe, but it's gorgeous. I have Venus. Look at how creamy that looks. Oh, I just love it. I love this pouring medium. It's my favorite. And then I have Aphrodite, which is like this beautiful rust color, like a deep brick. And that is absolutely gorgeous as well. So those are gonna be my colors for this bloom that I'm gonna blow out with the hairdryer. Um, my pillow paint is the Glidden Interior Exterior in Ultra White. This is eggshell. Okay, so the phone cut off um, while I was doing the blowout with the hair dryer. So I did finish that piece. I spun it out, um, but I wanted to film again the blowout part. Um, because that's the most important part. I mean, gosh. <laughs> so I did learn a couple of things from the first one. Um, spread the pillow out first um, and then put the colors on top and then my blowing technique as well. I think I have to turn it on the medium um, setting. So I'm going to try again. Let's put down some pillow and spread it out. Just gonna spin it out. Don't need any more. Let's get it all the way on here. does not get hindered because I think I didn't spread it out the first time and it kind of messed with the blowout I think so I'm gonna spread it out and add a little bit more in the center as well oh and there's a booger right there come on out Okay, I'm just gonna keep an eye on this thing. I'm just gonna straighten here a little bit. And make sure that it's still recording. <clears throat> All right, so I'm, I think I'm layering the colors differently too this time, but that's okay. All right, sorry for the shaking. All right, I'm gonna start out with some black. And 
and this time I'm gonna, hmm, I was gonna start with Aphrodite, but I don't think so. I think I'm gonna start with Venus. We're changing things up a little bit here. I think I did Venus first last time too. I don't remember. Comet was definitely second. So let's get that on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with some Aphrodite. Still recording. I'm keeping an eye on it this time. I'm not losing you guys again. Okay. And then some Syrah. to top it off. Oh yeah, that's pretty. These colors are so gorgeous. I just love them so. Okay, so that's a lot of paint. It's fine. I just my skewer in the spinner box, so let's pop these bubbles. My two cell activators. I got some white. And some black. Okay. So full of paint right now. I'm sorry for the shaking, guys. I really am. I'm sorry. It's straight. Okay. We're still recording, so that's good. All right. So I'm gonna stand up on my stool here. I've got it on cool. I'm gonna start low to just spread the cell activator a little bit. Then I'm gonna turn it on high and blow it out, and we'll see what happens. my Athena over and it all spilled. Yep. The last time I moved all my little cups into their holders so that I wouldn't knock them over. Alright, so that was kind of three quarters good. I like it everywhere but this section, but that's okay. I'm still learning. We'll give the cells a, a minute to develop. And I do have my little world's smallest blower. Oh, you guys are crooked again. I'm sorry if you're crooked. I'm not gonna fix it now. All right, let's try the world's smallest blower in a couple of little spots here. Let's see if it opens up some cells. Yeah, I may get a few little ones over there. And I'll probably modify you know what, this is cell activator over here. Let me see if I can blow that. Oh, 
All right, so I'm gonna modify this a little bit. I'm probably going to come in and wreck some of these big cells. I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna do some modification in this area. Let's use the wide end. Okay, so I'm gonna go spin it out and see what happens. I'm gonna take it to my puppy pool. Okay, let's give this a spin. paint back on it. Oh, it's so cool. It still feels like there's a lot of paint on here though. No, well, it's not really moving too much. Alright, one more for good luck. That is really cool. Okay, so I think that's good. Let's lift it up. I'll show you guys. Let's tilt it and see if we pick up that comet. The gold. Did any of it stay? A little bit in the center. You can see some comet there. So any gold you see shimmering? is the comet. Okay, here you have it. I'm gonna show you me spinning out the first one too because they came out very different. So stay tuned for the second spin out. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, so I have restarted this stupid thing and I'm hoping it will at least let me record spinning out this bloom. So, I have modified it a little bit, not too much. I want to spin it out and see what happens to these cells. Alright, so let's give it a try. Starting out slow. Keeping an eye on the camera and the phone. Getting good so far. Spin it a little harder. I'm so upset it didn't record me blowing it out. I'm just gonna adjust the whole thing a little bit towards the edge that I want more paint to come off. I want it to come off of these edges. So I pushed it a little bit more that way. so cool. 
cool, guys. There's a lot of paint on here, though. That's still moving considerably, so we'll keep going. But I'm going to center it back. it's not moving too fast yeah it's not moving too fast I think it'll dry nice gold that's the comet it's gold when you tilt it all over the place wow that's so cool all right so now i know i can use the hair dryer um <laughs> i have to learn to control it a little bit better because i did not blow you would have seen it if the camera had been stopped but i did not blow in a nice pattern. I kind of blew it and was just turning it and kind of blowing it haphazardly. So uh, it didn't blow out nice and evenly, but it still came out really cool, I think. I do like it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed what you got to see anyway of um, me trying out my hair dryer with the blooms. I will definitely do it again practice a little bit more on these small canvases before I go up to using um, one of my wood rounds or my MDF rounds, which I don't want to waste. So this was fun. It was cool. Um, I'll definitely try it again and hopefully the video will record next time. Okay. Thanks guys for joining me again. Um, if you haven't already, please give this a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing if you are not yet subscribed and leave a comment for us. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much again for joining us. Okay, till next time. Bye.